Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are here right now to show you 30, yes that is right, 30 different rat hole, unrateable, and hidden bases over on Aberration. Now I have in three different zones, basically you've got the green zone, you've got the blue zone, and then what I call ceiling style bases, and those are the bases that are very difficult to raid because obviously no flyers on aberration. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you all 30 of these. I will have my GPS out the entire time. I will have cliff platforms as well as foundations so I can show you what you can do and can't do there. Now. Obviously, there are different ways to go about doing this. Um, some of these are better on unofficial versus official, but there are ways to build in these zones um, depending on where you are. So I'm going to start with one that's uh, really interesting. In Portal, it used to be possible to build here, and it still kind of is. So this is on the back side of Portal right here. Uh, basically, it's a hidden green zone kind of, if you want to call it rat hole, if you want to call it portal base, whatever you want to call it, you can call it that. Um, you can slot in some cliff platforms in some of these positions on official. And basically it's on the back side, and I'll show you the chords, 44.0, 9.5. It's on the back side of the portal, way up in this crack. And you can do a lot of unique things with it. It's up at the ceiling, so there's no real way of getting to someone up here safely. Um, you'd have to use gas bags, but if you have a good turret, def or turret defense that you're not going to have to worry about any of that. So that's not a big thing. Now, obviously, this is probably my least favorite of all 30. We're kind of going downhill. We'll kind of talk about, you know, that in general um, as we go, but we'll kind of go on to the next one. So the next one is called, and I, I guess I have called it, the Green Rat Hole. Now, basically what this is, is it is a base over near the portal. You can see there is portal right there. And back up inside over here, 52.2, 21.6 at the world ceiling. Again, you can see that you've got like a little hidden thing up inside of a tree right over here. Now, there are two layers to it. You've got a lower layer and an upper layer totally protected by this tree and the ceiling. It would be very difficult to raid this base. Now, I'll go ahead and show you. There are different ways to put down cliff platforms. I do not believe, unless they've changed it, yeah, you can't put foundations up this high. Um, but you can, if, you had, if you've if you seen the videos for it before, I can make one for you as well. Um, or if you know how to do it, I know a ton of people know how to do this. It's very simple. You just place down a cliff platform and then place your foundations coming off of that cliff platform, and that's a good way to do it on official. And it'll allow you to place structure down, which is pretty cool. Um, but this is a great spot, 52.4, 21.7. I would have a mid-sized tribe in here pretty easily. You could have a large tribe. You just have to build very successfully and kind of keep an eye out for this side over here. But this is a very good little spot that's not easy to spot and hard to get to because unless you know it's there, you're going to have to get some very interesting locations to get there. If you have not already liked and subscribed, please do so. It does help out a lot, and uh, that would be much appreciated. So thank you for those of you that already have done that. All right, now without further ado, spot number three. Now this base spot is commonly called Alpha Tree. However, I have built up here, it's okay, it's nothing stellar. Um, you can defend it pretty easily. There's only three main ways inside of this tree, and this is at the top of 36.7, 35.1. Basically inside of this giant tree, you can just go inside this bad boy. It is a huge amount of space. There's three ways in, one, back here. You can see it right here. Yeah, that's that's one way in, so you can defend that pretty easily. Uh, the second way in is over on, well, I mean, I guess I'll call it three. Uh, this side over here, there's two ways you can get in from this side, so you have to defend right over here. And then right over here is where like most people come up because there's like a nice little area, so your defend point would probably be right around here or up on that rock. You can build on this, you just have to find the proper locations to place your cliff platforms. You have to look for a little bit sometimes, and it just takes some time, which is a pain in the butt. But when you do find the different, you saw it go green there, there's one of them. Um, you can find these and then build on top of the cliff platform. There's another one. And you can kind of use this as a general building starter over here and then I guess I'll just show you how you do this all right so basically take down your cliff platform take your structure you can't build over there until you place one of these bad boys down first and then you're able to kind of work your way around and then build outwards using that 
So this is a great spot to build. You got lots of room. You can put cliff platforms all over this place if you're unofficial. If you're unofficial, you can totally build pretty much anywhere on this. It's an amazing little trick if you want to call it that so this is an awesome spot yeah great and all it's not even the best spot on this tree there is an actual unrateable spot that we're going to go to right now it's a rat hole uh, the cords of it 37.4 34.6 inside of the tree now i'll go ahead and go k mode so you can see directly up there is where we just were you can see that cliff platform right there inside of this tree no way to get out except only one way in, one way out of this little hole. You can see it. Lots of space. A small to medium sized tribe could easily fit in here. The only way in is right here. That's it. It's the only way up and in. The only way, tech suit, because it's too big to fit a most tames in here. I don't believe you can get a, even get a gas bag through this. Um, tech suit or climbing picks are the only two ways. So if you had a good turret defense system, this is an unrateable rat hole, if you want to call it that. Um, it's a very successful base. A lot of people have built here before, and you can kind of even go up in here quite a bit and have a nice little spot right up in here. Um, you can do pretty much whatever you need to. It's pretty much something you have to start with cliff platforms in order to build in here. It's an awesome little thing. You got to find the spots, obviously. Um, but once you do find the spots, they're pretty awesome. It's a nice little building zone out of placement range. Ugh, frustration. But you can build in here. It's an awesome little hidey hole, and I love building in that spot itself. It's really cool. That one way in, one way out makes it probably my favorite base on the entire map. All right, so let's go ahead and go to somewhere that's a little bit less overpowered, um, but it is very, very valuable still. This is, I mean, it's the highest tree you can have. It is up against the world mesh. You can see it right here. You'll also notice that I am on the back side of the world mesh, and I kind of get right back up in this hidey hole right up in here. This is not a bad spot by any means. You can place things up in here um, on unofficial. On official, there is a way to do it. You have to kind of build your way up and in using a cliff platform, but it's up to you how you would go about doing that. I don't know. You can see that I can kind of build in certain spots up here. You just have to find the little happy spots, if you want to call it that. But the cords of this little spot, 40.8, 42.3. And essentially what we're doing here is you have a nice huge open area. So this could be a giant size tribe if you wanted to put something up in here. Very defendable. You can only get up from this side, I guess right there technically too. And then you've got this nice little area up in here where you can kind of store some of your valuables or have some tames up in there. Um, it's a nice spot. It really is. Very small, um, compact, hard to raid. Would not be easy to get anything up in here. So nice little spot. All right. So let's go into the next one. Uh, the next one is a vertical crack. Now, this is something that a lot of people know about this one. So keep that in mind. It's It's a very popular spot to build. Uh, it is over in the green zone right above the little river, the fertile river. 23.2, 52.6. Now, if you go over to this zone in the floor, you just walk up to it. There is a giant, what appears to be just like a little hole right here. However, the further you look, the more you realize it's a crack that goes way up way way up you can get a long ways up inside this area um, lots of different areas that you could build up in here you can place cliff platforms as you're seeing me do and you can use cliff platforms to build way up yeah you're noticing it right now this is a giant freaking area uh, you can do a lot of unique things i've seen some crazy builds inside this thing it is very difficult to raid because as you can see you can only fit so much in here before you have to actually, um, you, you can't raid with a golem. So that's, that's for starters. You can only raid with things that can kind of have vertical access. If you were to have a good spot up there, you can only raid by soaking it with this little corner right here. Um, if you had some good little base set up right up in here, there are so many different ways to build in this cave. Uh, it, this vertical crack, if you want to call it that, that it is a very overpowered spot. Now, first off, you've got to even get through this first hole right here. So you could have a nice turret tower right out this door. Um, you could have an awesome little defense hanging down right here that's on medium. So they have to get into this in order to actually soak. It is a beautiful little base. Now, you can also kind of 
put a whole bunch of stuff right here so it's totally blocked up it's entirely up to you you can also place cliff platforms it is an awesome awesome spot this vertical crack is a very popular building location though so a lot of people are going to know you're there all right so now this is the biggest tree in the game in my opinion now this is the next spot on our base 24.0 45.9 very popular very common spot to build it is a massive area that goes for quite a ways and there's lots of little corners nooks crannies all that stuff that you can hide inside of um, and you can see me i'm just going around this giant freaking tree lots of room this is pretty much only for a large size tribe or a medium tribe that is totally totally active the different ways to get inside of it are vast you can uh, go in from multiple points i guess is a good way to put it uh, you can get in from this side over here. This tree is very large. Uh, you can get in from the back side. It spans a huge amount of territory. Um, and it kind of goes around here. And there's lots of little hidey holes in here. So you could be a small tribe if you just found yourself in a small crack like this. And kind of just moved around using that. But it's also something that if you had a huge tribe, you could also pretty easily defend it. Now, you see me go up on the back side of this. It's another massive area uh, over here. And then it comes out on this side to an even bigger area that kind of hangs above the ground. This is also a great base location because you can kind of hover your way back up inside of this thing. Very difficult to raid because it's pretty much at the ceiling and uh, it would not be fun to go after. So that's, you know, that's that. All right. So this is the chords of this 23.8, 47.7. It is a massive, massive spot. Now, the next spot we're going to go to is a smaller tree. Uh, very similar to the ones we've seen before, but it's kind of uh, a little bit different because it's not quite as defendable. Uh, this one right here, you've got this pillar in the middle of this tree that goes up against the world map. Um, and there's definitely some unique things that you can do. What you can do is kind of build safely in this thing, um, but there's lots of angles that you would have to defend. So you're basically just building a giant box that could be raided from pretty much any side. Not the most defendable but a ton of space. If you had a large tribe and could defend all these corners, this would be an awesome base location um, because it is so high up in the sky. And I'll kind of show you. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and the chords of it specifically, 32.1, 56.2. And that is kind of like the chords of this thing. It is a massive base location. But again, not super defendable, just meant for more larger PvP style tribes. All right, now... We're going to talk about some of the base locations that are a little bit less common and very cheeky. Now, this is a metal door. Now, I call this the metal door location because it's very unique. It's a kind of a combo deal. So if you go up to the top of Fertile Lake, you can see a very common base location right there. But you can actually get inside of this area right here, this little, little tiny flip right here. Yes, yeah, this thing. And you can build inside of this with cliff platforms. Now, you can't build normally, but you can put a cliff platform up a little bit. You can put it down. You can put it wherever you need to. And uh, you can build inside of this little crack. Now, it's an amazing little spot because you cannot get anything inside of this to soak. You can't. Uh, it's not possible. So if you built it right, it would be almost impossible to raid because right here, this is a human size area. You can't throw anything in here. It's impossible to soak this location. So they would have to somehow get you on foot. And if you're good at building, it would be very difficult to do just that. And especially because it's hidden, most people don't look in there. Especially if you have metal right there, nobody's going to go looking for you. Now, another combination base location, which brings us to our next spot, the metal rat hole, is uh, right next door to this. So this is kind of like that little flip area that is right next to it, kind of hidden with some basic foliage as well, but not super hidden. The next area is right next to it. So right over here, you can see this giant structure. People get down to this by jumping on this bad boy right here, jumping right here, you can see how close it is. And then you go inside of here. Now inside of this, there's a nice little crack. This is a rat hole. You can go anywhere right here. This is totally legal. There's nothing wrong with it. You can build inside of it like you see right here. It's a great little base location. If you had some good building capabilities, it would be darn near impossible to raid you because you can't get anything in here other than a player. Now they'll throw some grenades in here, but that's about the only way they're going to be able to go after you is with grenades, cluster grenades. So building up in here, probably your best bet. That would be my opinion. 
So take that for what you will. Um, but the chords of this 14.7, 41.0, and it is a great little rat hole to start off a bass. It's not really for a large tribe, more like a small, maybe one, two, three, maybe four guys. If you all got along really well. Now, the next place that we're going to go, just to remind you, this is the Fertile Lake Tree, commonly called another one called Alpha Tree. Very popular place to build because it is totally surrounded by water. If you had good building capabilities, rock drakes cannot land on this right here. Humans can, gas bags can, but not rock drakes. And up on top of this, you have a nice flat area that you can kind of do what you wish with and learn how to build up here pretty easy you just have to use that cliff platy technique where you kind of put this guy down like this and then move your structure kind of outwards from there you can see how i've now created structure that i can place on the ground uh, and then i can get rid of this cliff platform pick up and boom we have access to building up here now like it's normal that is how you build on any ground up here totally normal i'll make another video about that um, it's really not that hard to do, but this is a great spot because of its location. 16, or I guess 17.6, 36.9 is the location of the Fertile Lake Tree. Super popular base location. Now the next one, not exactly legal. This is a mesh hole. Now 10.2, 48.8 on the back side of Fertile Lake comes around this little corner over here, which is a pretty popular PVE spot to build. But there is an amazing little mesh hole. Now, it doesn't really get you access to a bunch of the mesh, but right here, you can go underneath this, and you are now inside of a small portion of the mesh. Now, what's really cool, you can build inside of it. And it's totally legal. There's nothing wrong with it. You're not cheating. You're just building right next to something. There's quite a bit of space in here. If you were good at building, you could probably get quite a bit of a base for a solo or a duo in here very easily you can't see it from the outside and the turrets imagine trying to raid this unless you knew it was here no thanks no thank you especially if you could get somebody that could somehow place some stuff a little more conveniently up in the mesh up here you can wrap around a little bit so it's harder to find your stuff and as long as you're just careful you stay inside of that mesh up until about that point right there so 10.3 48.8 you could even have a dummy base right here so that way people couldn't get inside and you knew how to get in but other people don't that is a very popular thing to do as well all right so let's move on to the next one this is the side tree so the side tree is uh, a very common one that you'll find people in uh, this is a pretty defendable base because it's something that you only have one area to defend from 15.5 54.4 inside of a tree again you can see there's fertile lake up in this tree up here this is a very difficult base to raid because you have access to placing down metal cliff platforms the entire way up this thing it is a very defendable base location uh, the only way you have to defend from is this side right here this is one of the most popular base locations on almost any map um, just because it is so so very easy to defend on this thing um, you can play structure down like this. You just have to, you know, be better than I just was right there. But it's an amazing spot for a medium to large tribe. It would be very hard to hold this on a small one or two player. But it's a very defendable base location. Very hard to raid because, again, you've only got this side to defend from. Rock Drakes cannot land on this. They can obviously hover right here if they, they manage to get far enough to it. But... Uh, gas bag is probably the only way to get in this and because these cracks are so small you can't get the desert titan or any titan inside of this so it's a super defendable base location and you're building right up against the top of the world so it's like you shoot down on things making very difficult to raid with trikes so that's kind of that again chords 15.4 54.6 all right now this is probably another one of those more popular base locations this is the ceiling rat hole now Again, 33.1, 61.8, very unknown to a lot of people, which is shocking to me. Here's the ceiling. Inside of this little rat hole, you can see it right here. There's a small ledge on the outside of it. You can build up in there. And the cords, 31.8, 61.3, you can see it. I used to have a base in there and here. Very difficult to raid this thing. I don't know how you would go about doing it. 
because if you built a nice little chandelier combo out here, uh, there's nowhere to even land because the ceiling's right there. Yeah, that'd be hard to raid. But this little rat hole, very difficult. You can fit plenty of stuff inside of this thing. You can build straight up inside of this. Um, so you just have to be careful with how you build. Very difficult to get up here, obviously. So you have to probably use a bunch of climbing picks if you're early game to get up here. But well worth it if you can because it would be very difficult to get to this spot. 32.2, 61.6. This is the ceiling rat hole. Pretty awesome little area. Now, there is another amazing base location over where I am now at 34.0, 58.0, very nearby to that one we were just at. This is a ceiling rat hole. Again, you can see no real way to get into this, but that little crack right there. Now you cannot build straight up in here. You can place a cliff platform. I've done it before. It's like a one teeny tiny little spot. It just takes some time to get it. Now, the actual base location is meant for a small tribe, maybe a medium if you were to build down, 34.1, 58.0, and it's hidden by a bunch of foliage. So just to show you where it is, up in that, yes, up in here is this base location. Now, there's a bunch of little ledges that go up into it, so you could very easily get a bunch of tribe mates and run this entire little mini tree over here. Um, but this is an amazing base location because it goes way up and in. Very difficult to get into this spot. So very fun to get in here. Uh, great spot for large, small tribes, mediums. It just depends on how big you want to build. So that's another one. It's much better on unofficial than it is on official, but still an amazing spot. All right. So here's another one. This is the Spire base location. Now, 36.3, 54.8. This is a great spot on the side of the map. Again, top, so you can't get into this really easily at all. Um, you can see that this is plenty of base location up here. You can't build on the tree, but it's more of a hidden base than it is a true PvP base. You could have a small something here, um, but you can put a cliff platform anywhere up on this ledge right here. It's your call where you want to put it. You are totally blocked from one side. So this guy up here is blocking you from being seen or shot at. So the only way into this base location, you could fit quite a few cliff bladdies here. It depends on how you want to build, obviously. Um, you could even go up nice and high up here if you really wanted to. You're hidden by the tree. And it's a very, it's, it's more of this base location. Because rock drakes cannot land on this, it would be almost impossible to find you because you're a part of that tree, essentially. Um, so you can do a lot of fun things and this is more of just like a spire that you can use as a great building location um, and use it as you wish. There's a lot of really great spots up in here and you don't have to build in here, but it's a great spot to build. 35.2, 54.1. Let me go ahead and give you a bonus spot that you did not know about probably ahead of time that I almost guarantee somebody is on your server. Um, so this is a great tree base right here, but next to it, this guy right here, this is an even better area right here. This tree, you can build inside of these two trees. And with this, there is only one way in, one way out, and this is a great spot to build. Very similar to the one that I just talked about. There's only one way in, one way out. So you gotta find a way to properly build in here. There is ways to do it with cliff platforms and then kind of go about it that way. But this tree is a great building location because, again, one way in, one way out. Right here, you can get in that way. So that's it. Other than that, there's no way in, just this one side. So very easy to defend this base. 25.361.5. There's a little bit of a bonus, kind of, you know, just a fun little thing in there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. This is Alpha Ledge. This is one of the most popular large to medium sized tribe building locations in the game. 39.3, 61.5. This is a giant ledge in the blue biome that you can hide an amazing amount of stuff on. Now, it's not huge, so usually what people will do, they'll build a cliff platform wall around themselves um, and kind of turn this into a giant hole in the ceiling. And it's an amazing base location. It really is. There is so much that you can do with it. It's a little bit ridiculous. You can take over this ledge and that one over there and just turn this into a giant death trap. 
So this spot is amazing, 39.2, 61.6. If this spot is open on your server, you need to immediately take it because you can also just straight up build up here. Probably the best spot in, in app for the most part. Uh, at least one of them. All right, this is another common building location more for giant or large size tribes. This is Blue Ledge or Blue Spire Ledge, 41.3, 64.6. And this is a very flat area that you would need a large amount of players constantly on because it would be easy to offline. But online rating this thing, no thanks. It basically wraps around a pillar in the blue biome up on top of the ceiling. So again, very difficult to raid because it's up high and there's a ton of space. And you can build straight up in the air. You can build up against the ceiling and have a giant wall. You do whatever you need to to make this thing unraidable. But it's a very common base location. Now let's talk about one of if you're allowed to build on this. This is where the most unrateable base is on your server. 48.3, 26.8. You probably already know about this. Glowtail Cave is unrateable. Legit unrateable. If you had four weeks, maybe you could do it, but that's about it. So basically this cave has multiple areas like this where you've got to crouch to get through. And people just load this side up with turrets so you can't even get in. And it's just a giant long tube that you slowly have to work your way down that you can't raid with anything large. You've got to use trikes and carbos. And it just takes forever to get down this thing. The entire thing is buildable. There are multiple segments, multiple sections where it looks like this, where you've got another tiny corner you've got to get around. And this is just one of the caverns that you would have to get through. And then you move on to the next section. Point being... It's basically unraidable. Glowtail Cave, almost impossible to raid. I mean, if they're offline for two weeks, yeah, sure, you could do it, but no thanks. All right, so this is Green Cave. Obviously, you guys know about these. These are the surface caves. I have a neat suggestion for you. If you haven't tried it before, a lot of people like to build huge on the bottom side of these surface caves. Not a good idea. What you do, build up. Build up. That's what I'm telling you. So in Green Surface Cave, there is a couple of a really nice spots up on top of the actual cave. Now you can see that I can put cliff platforms up here, which is pretty nice. There is no way up here other than from down there. So you could build some pretty nice things, main bases inside of this, just have some small defensive structures on the bottom. But up on top of this is where you wanna put your main base. Very uncommon thing to do, but you should. Ceiling bases in Aberration are super overpowered. So this is where I would personally build mine. Um, Green Cave had probably has the best because you've got multiple points where you can defend, like right there. You gotta get up that in order to get in. What in God, what is going on? Why is my screen blacked out? Weird. Uh, you've got multiple jump points and then also building on top of the ceiling makes this an almost unrateable base location. So pretty cool. Now we'll go and go over to get a Red Cave to tell you how I'd build in that. Um, the red cave is very, very common to build in because it is so difficult to get to because of the radiation damage and pr natural protections that it gives you. Cords 78.9, 25.2. Um, if you go up to the top, obviously you have the outside world. You go down at the bottom and you are protected on this side. I don't know why my screen is doing that right now. That's really weird. Um, if you go to the outside over here, you can see that you are protected by Reaper Queens and a giant, you know, death army of everything. This is, I don't know, I might have to re-log in order to make this go away. Um, but on the back side of this, you are well defended, so it's a super great base location. 79.4, 27.5, and it's just a very common spot to build for a lot of people. Again, I would suggest, assuming my screen will let me, building up high. And uh, if you go up inside this thing, there's a lot of really neat little nooks and crannies that you can build in that apparently my game doesn't want to let me see right now, but you get the point. So I'm not going to, you know, sit there and do that for quite a while. If it keeps doing this, I'll relog. But um, great, great building location. Now we're inside of Blue Cave. Now Blue Cave is also another surface cave, 35.2, 81.4. And again, people don't do this. They should. They should build up high. Now, some great spots that you can build in this guy right here. This is just filled with awesome spots up high. Oh, man, it really doesn't want me to look up high. Why is it like it only exists in the mesh point between the two? But you can kind of see where I'm looking anyways. Building up in that zone over there is difficult to rate. It really is. 
because once you get up this high, um, you've already probably got defenses down low. Having someone not only have to raid the bottom side, but then have to get up top up here makes it very difficult. And if you're really, really gutsy, you could start bringing in some Reaper Queens when someone's trying to raid you. And then just have your Reaper Queens, Reaper Queens that are wild attacking from one side. And then you're up here hitting them from the other. Making this style of base so overpowered. Really is. Um, it's a great spot. Uh, there, there is one more surface cave. I don't like it as much, but, uh, this, this surface cave style, um, is an amazing little spot to build. I suggest building up high. Now let's go ahead and go over to Blue Mound. This is another awesome base location over on Aberration. Wow. I'm gonna have to relog in order to make this go away. So I'll be right back. All right. So anyways, now we are back in that spot. I relogged. So we should be all good. 41.8, 70.5. This is blue mound. It is in the ceiling. It is a great base location. No, you cannot straight up build in here, but you can, if you use cliff platforms, um, basically this is inside of the green or the blue zone and there's only two ways inside you've got this little tiny crack right here it's more of a small to medium sized tribe zone and then this side over here it's very 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 uncommon to build in here and very difficult to raid because there's no real way in there's no way to soak from you just gotta um eventually go up with a gas bag drop go up with a gas bag drop you get the point uh, very, very difficult to get inside this small area, but small to mid-sized tribes probably only. And that's kind of what it is. 41.8, 70.5. That is the blue mound base location. Uh, the blue ceiling right over on this side. You can see it. This is one where I put a cliff platform already. This is a very uncommon, but should be more popular built base location. Um, uh, 54.8 and 75.3 you can see it right over here uh, it is a great spot and basically inside of this ceiling you can build anywhere up here and that totally totally works it is a great great building location just because anywhere in the ceiling you can place one of these things there is no way to get down um, you can just put a teleporter in here if you're advanced enough to build in the ceiling you've probably already got teleporters and then put a teleporter down low and boom, you've got yourself access to an amazing base spot. Now, this is end game, obviously, because you use this to have like all your valuables up here with a good um, anti raid force. Uh, so, some good turrets and good turret setup, and nothing's going to get to you in blue ceilings like this. So, pretty cool spots. Now, I've got another one, blue corner. This is a great base location. Um, 47.2 73.5 it's a dual layer system not quite all the way up in the sky but very uncommon to build here uh, if you had a mid-sized tribe it'd be easy to hold this if you had a smaller tribe you could tuck yourself up in this small little section right here at 47.0 73.6 it is a great spot uh, more rateable than the other ones that we've shown so far but still a good spot for like a metal grind pad or something like that or to get down into the blue zone or even red zone, because you're pretty close to that right here. Uh, cool spot, only rateable really from here. How I would do it, I would probably just uh, get a glide suit or build my way down and then just kind of raid from the side over here. Really easy to do actually, but nonetheless, cool little spot, flat, easy to hold. This is just a corner of the blue zone, pretty neat. All right, so the next spot that I'm gonna show you, Blue Falls. Now, Blue Falls is another one it's, uh, it's more of a early game kind of build for great resource amounts. It would be very difficult to know somebody's here unless you wanted to actually look for them. You could build inside of Blue Falls with a uh, platform if you really wanted to, but it does stick out the far side, so that's kind of what makes I don't like doing that. I prefer just building on the bottom down here as a startup point, just like this right here. And then you have easy access to a load of metal, crystal, resources, everything you need. You've got plant species Z right here to defend you. And then obviously you plant a couple, one right there and one right there. It's not an end game base location. That's what I'll tell you right off the bat. It is an early game, get yourself set up base location, but it can be really strong if you have a bunch of members. And then you build directly above it, 46.3, 72.4. And basically, once you've taken that over and you've done that, you can build up here on that ledge that I just showed you. 
You can build over on this side. Very difficult to raid this side over here entirely. Lots of nice little ledges. It's a great like build your way up to this kind of base location because you have so much resource access right there. Super great spot. Um, it would be difficult to raid this as well because there's not really a good attack point. Um, so as long as you build small and there's only a couple of you, great spot to build. All right, so now let's talk about another one of those basically unraidable base locations that I I don't know how you'd hit it. I honestly don't. Um, boom. Let me. Wow. I won't let me copy my 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 notes. There we go. All right, so this is a metal rat hole that a lot of people do not know about. Yes, this is legit. 54.8, 39.8. Now, what this is, is a spot with a huge amount of room. You can see it right here. Yes, you can see, you can build in here. And there is only one entrance. This is the entrance to this metal rat hole. This is it. This is the only entrance to the metal rat hole. 54.7, 40.3, this is it. There's only one way in. So if you had a good defensive scheme set up, you're not raiding this. You're not getting into this thing. Uh, you can technically stand on this, but you're going to fall right down. There are a few points where you'll get stuck, but you can't land a trike here. You can't land carbos here. Um, you might be able to get something right on this side, right over here, because there are a few little like standing points right there, but you're not getting up there. I don't know how you would do it. You could even probably add some defensive structure down in this zone right here, um, making it so they can't land on either side. And then how do you raid this? I don't know. Because, you, I mean, unless you dive bomb it with something, and even then, a good defensive setup's not going to allow that to happen. You can't land here. So as soon as somebody's like, hey, I'm going to, oh, I can't do that. Um, you, you, there's nothing you can do. Uh, great spot. So this is probably one of the most powerful spots in Aberration that people don't build in enough. 54.7, 40.1, just a crazy powerful spot. Very similar to the one that we just talked about. This is a metal hidey hole at 50.4, 43.6. Uh, it's something that's not necessarily the greatest for PvP, but no one's really going to look up here for you because it's very uncommon to be able to even get in here unless someone has a tech suit looking around. 50.3, 43.4. It's basically inside of this metal structure. And if you just go to the tippy tippy top of it, there are some neat little spots that you can build that are very difficult to see, especially because it's already built out of metal. It's hard to notice additional metal structures. And especially because you're like, oh, there's nothing up there. It doesn't show through the wall, which is pretty unique and special. You can see a shadow, which kind of sucks. Um, but it's a great little spot to start building that you wouldn't want to necessarily have end game. But it's a good little hidey hole at 50.4, 43.6. So, nice little spot. Now, there is another spot that could be an alpha spot. I have never seen someone successfully take it over, but I think this spot has some crazy, crazy abilities. At 55.6, 34.5. Now, I think, in my personal opinion... This right here could be one of the most powerful spots in the game because you could take over the entire inside of this, the entire outside of it. There's no real way to rate it because there's no way up to it. And if you had enough cliff platforms and a big enough tribe to take this over, there is zero chance that somebody's getting in your base. You have to attack it with air tames. So gas bags, maybe the giants, I mean the, the titans. And there's no real way to get up here with a turtle. There's no way to get up here with the Karkonos. Uh, this entire thing can be taken over. There are plenty of ledges, plenty of spots you can build inside this thing. Even if you didn't want to build on the outside and you were good with turret placements, building on the inside is completely possible. And let's say you don't even want to build that much. All you got to do is take over, if you have a small to mid-sized drive, take over this small ledge up here. There's no, I mean, there's your, there's no real way to get to you. Other than maybe right down inside that and down here and then some good turret placement and a good uh, cliff platform, boom, you're done. You don't need to worry about any of this stuff. Uh, you, you literally have this covered and this side covered over here just by existing. Chords of it, 55.5, 34.3. Challenge, I, I don't know. I think this is probably one of the most powerful spots. Up against the ceiling, very clear line of sights, hard to raid. Good for small, medium, and large size tribes. Pretty crazy stuff. 
All right, now this is kind of one that is a very common spot to build. So a lot of you I'm sure have seen base locations here, but I'll go ahead and show you anyways. This is an artifact cave. I believe it's the artifact of the shadow is down here or something like that. But inside this area, the cords that I'm at, 55.5, 67.4. If you go to Blue Lagoon or the Lagoon in the blue zone right before red, there's a hidey hole that you have to like go down inside of and it goes through water and it drops you off here. Now, at this spot, there are multiple ways to go through this, uh, but what you can get is if you go down this entire thing, it's very similar to the um, Glowtail Cave because it's very difficult to get down inside this cave and you can basically just like the entire way down, you have to crouch in a few different locations like this and there's huge, huge openings. So you could have some monstrous bases in this kind of zone. Uh, lots of potential, uh, again, very common place to build. So a lot of people probably already are in here. Um, and it kind of sucks because they block off artifacts, which means that doing boss fights isn't possible without their permission. Um, but you can build pretty successfully in this zone because of crouch points like this. So almost impossible to raid this over a long period of time. I mean, you would need them to be offline for weeks in order to raid something like this because you can't pull out large tames in here. Only Triceratops, only Carbonemus can actually go inside of this area. You can see you've got even like a small amount of water you could raise. I mean, on the other side, there's even more waters. You could raid Mosasaurs, whatever you needed to. And like, you don't raid a base here. 55.4, 67.1, it's unraidable. It really is. Um, this is one of those ones that I don't know why Ark allows people to build in the artifact zones, but it does, and that kind of sucks. So, oh well, there are worse things. Anyways, that is 30 different base locations for Aberration that are basically unraidable, hidden rat holes, just a combination of all that stuff. Hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach out.